We have a funny thing in our set. We call it Team No Daughters. And it sounds terrible when you just hear it, but it's all based on like our fear of ever having to raise a daughter in this society, like the way things are heading right now. Like, I don't have a daughter. A lot of my friends have daughters, you know, God bless them, but we just always joke around. Like when we see something like that, like a twerk video or like Team No Daughters, like I want no parts of that. Like I'm just horrified. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where it's heading in the future. Trend is, is definitely something to be worried about. You know, it's just like, it's kids now. It's all they see on, on TV. It's all they see on World Star. It's like, they don't necessarily know any better, but the way, the way their minds are being molded is like, Horrifying, bro. It's scary. Scary times. Yeah, the reception for last winter has been amazing, man. Like, really kind of overwhelming. You know, I didn't expect so much fan support. It's my first time, like, even selling anything. Um, you know what I mean? This was like a, a mixtape, essentially, that I had that we put on iTunes. You know, because it's all original work. It's, it's like, it's really an album, but I was ready to just put it out for free. So, you know, just to see people spending their hard-earned money to support my craft is like, it's, it's a lot of love, man. It's been overwhelming. Many of the songs on this beforehand weren't like working singles necessarily. We're just putting the project out there and then working it for the long haul. So now it's just definitely all about getting on the road, staying on the road, performing these songs, expanding the fan base. Um, you know, that's really why we put this project out. My nigga just made bail, I just came up on some great 12s, great health, cheers to that. Do the shit for Queens, got my ears to that. And the first at bat for Dreamville is, is definitely an honor, man. It's, it's a lot of work, you know, it's family. And to see those people work so hard to, to build this platform and then, you know, turn around and put me on that platform, uh, it's like it's a torch I carry, like, with a lot of, lot of pride, man. You know, it's, it's for the whole team. So, you know, it's, it's dope that they've invested in me and now I can give back so you know I definitely don't take that lightly. As far as up and coming New York rappers I, uh, I want to be among the m most like progressive in a sense whether it's my sound or my content. I think the city needs something new in order to really you know everyone's always talking about bringing New York back and, and, and all of that and it's like I don't think it's going to come back how people remember it. I think it's going to come back with something brand new that the whole world embraces as uh, like a new New York sound. So I'm just going to keep doing what I do, you know, making the music that means something to me. And, you know, if it's embraced as such, then, then so be it. 2014 for Dreamville is going to be a, a busy one, you know, it's going to be real active. There's some other things in the pipeline. I can't really speak on them yet, obviously. That's like Cole and Ebe's thing. As far as me, you know, I've been getting nothing but support from Dreamville since day one. But I know they have, you know, they have their mind on the future for sure. You know, Cole's, Cole's working, he's always working. I'm gonna be right back at it working, you know, they're, they're always like fishing for artists and, and like trying to expand the roster. So yeah, you're definitely gonna be hearing a lot throughout the summer and, and into the fall. We got a lot of things planned.